Today we are going to find the possible values of the inverse sine of negative one half. We have to give the answer in both radians and degrees. Before we solve this trigonometric problem, we need to have a copy of the unit circle since this chart is important in how to find all the possible values of this inverse sine. This is the unit circle. It is a circle surrounding one unit from the origin if you look at it in the ordinary graph. Each radius consists of different radians and degrees and the coordinates read as cosine comma sine in which cosine stands for x and sine stands for y. Okay, finding the inverse sine of negative one half means we have to find the value of theta which is usually measured in degrees. To do that, you must use a calculator. In the calculator, we must check if it calculates in terms of degrees by pressing the mode button and switch from radians to degrees. So go here, and go down, and press degree, and press clear. After you press clear, then press second before pressing the button sign since the blue highlighted option of inverse sign is there. Then input negative one half, close parentheses, because if you don't put a parenthesis at the end, the result will not be the one that we are expecting it to be. So the result of this inverse sign is negative 30 degrees, and it is read as negative 30 degrees. Before finding the radian version of negative 30 degrees, you must check if negative 30 degrees is inside the domain since there is a restriction in the inverse sign. We can tell that by noticing the letter S from sign is capitalized. The domain for inverse sine is negative 90 degrees is less than or equal to the value of theta is less than or equivalent to 90 degrees. Yes, negative 30 degrees is inside the domain so we won't have to worry about it. So, the first value is negative 30 degrees. Now, to find the radian value, we can simply look at the radian value of positive 30 degrees, which is pi over 6. And we can see here on the unit circle, which is over here, pi over 6, and its degree is 30 degrees. Then adjust the sign to negative so that it will match negative 30 degrees. So our radian value is negative pi over 6 radians. Because of the restriction in inverse sign, we only have one possible value. That's negative 30 degrees and negative pi over 6 in terms of radians. Overall, we found any possible values for restricted inverse sine of negative 1 half and that's it for today.